all right let me show you how you can actually send and automate your payroll uh after preparing your payroll now all you have to do is click on this all you have to do is click on this and then your pay paisley will be exported to a specified uh, folder and then another thing is that you can just click on this button send paisley and then your payslip will be sent to all your employees you can see it as the case may be automatically now let me go to my email and then we see the payslip that we just sent and then we see the payslip that we just sent here yeah, you can open just open click open see the paste no this is how you can actually so in this lesson i'll take you through how you can actually do all of these by automating your pay slip export it and send it to all your employees through email and if you need this complete file just drop a comment in the comment section i'll reach out to you all right welcome back so this video is a request to the follow-up of one of my subscribers uh, he made a comment in this video i did about uh, some months ago how to automate an export pay slip uh, in excel using v vba i did the lesson about a month ago and then he then made a comment this is the comment i, I can't really get his name he says how about uh, next after this completed i want to send pay slip to all employee by mail any tips sir so this is actually uh what actually want to work on in this lesson how can you send a uh, pay slip to all your employee from excel uh with a uh, vba now let's go now the this lesson actually included the complete file that you can use so if you go to under this lesson if you go to click here and then this download the practice file so i'm going to download so i will start from where we stopped I'll download the practice file. All right, it's actually here. So I'm going to just click on download and then I'll download the practice file. So this is the practice file. So let me just download it. And then I have it downloaded. So I'll go to my download and then I have the file as payroll auto so i'm going to open and let's continue from where we stopped so this is the file and every other thing and then i'll enable the content let me go here uh, this is our payroll and then this is the pay slip that we created the other time now what we we'll do if we go to uh, the vba editor i mean you see the line of code that we've written to actually get uh, to this level. Now, what we'll do is that let's just test whether this is still working. Let's test whether this is still working. So, I've created a, a folder on my desktop. Uh, let me go there. This, I'm going to copy this. I'll copy this link. And then I'll go to come here. And then I'll go to developer. And then I'll click on future basis. Then I simply want to replace this part. Yeah, I'm going to replace this part and paste the new part which I've uh, actually worked on on my stuff. So this is the part that the you no know, stuff will be exported to. The paste will be exported to. Now let's go. Now that we've specified the part, we can close the VBA editor, and then we can come here. We start from the first. Now, don't forget that we have about 30 employees from here. We check here from Emily Jones. If you look at the count, we have 30 employees. So, let's see how we can actually export uh, you know, their pay slip to PDF. So, this is from the previous lesson. So, I'll just click on for... Let me divide my screen so that you see what is going on. They have this here. So, I'll just click on... I click on print pay slip and then you see that the pay slip is being exported to this particular file uh, to this particular folder and all the 30 employee you can see pay slip in pdf file has been generated all the 30 employees we have their pay slip generator so which means that from our previous lesson 
our code and everything is still working the way it should so the next thing for us to do is that we simply create another button where we can export uh no after exporting the pdf the the the, the payslip we can then send it automatically to all our employees and that's what we want to do so this is what i will start by going to uh the developer tab and then i'll click on future basis or before that let me create you known from our payroll here you can see that i leave a space for the email address of the employee so we simply going to have the email address of the employee but i think i've just put my email just you known to test I have this four emails, so I'm going to use this four email to test you know, the whether the system will work. So we we'll go back here, and then we we'll go to developer, we click on future basis, and then we simply I'll click this way, and then I'll go to my notepad. I've actually prepared the code. This is the line of code. I'm going to just explain everything the way it should. So control A, control C. I just want to copy, and then. I'll go to the Excel file, the VBA editor, here, yeah, and then I'll paste this line of code into my no, VBA. Now, let me explain some of the concept now. Now, the first thing that you should note is that all these are just uh, you know, declaration of variables and all of that. And this is the uh, sub that we want to print. Print paste slip. We have the sub. All these are declaration of variables. We set Outlook as applications and then we want to print as, for example, for example, in our code, we are printing from 6 to 35 here. If you look, look at this, N6 to 35. Now, because we have in our page slip, we go to the that, we have you no know, the first employee on you no know, row 6, column A, and then the last one. 35 so we have 30 employees so but because we just want to test i'm going to modify that so it will be up to nine you can see six to nine so let me go to the code yeah i'm going to say six to nine because i just want to test six to nine here and then we go down and then we want to print from also six we want to send from six to nine also now, other thing that you should take note about this code is that we have set our path to the one we have copied. And then another thing is that the file name is this. We have we have set the file name to be you known. It's actually in the first lesson. And then we have you known the, the, the paste will be stored with this particular you know, the name of the employee, the staff, the, the staff ID of the employee and the name of the employee that's the file be stored in that and then we have the subject of the mail all these are the subject of the mail whereby we have you no know, the subject the pay slip in joined together with the value in e5 we go to e5 we see that we have the month and the year value there and then we have all of that another thing is that we have the body that says dear team members and we have so you can just put any message of your choice in this place and then after that we just create a new email in outlook we set it and you can see that we've set the email to be in cell c8 which i'm going to do later and then all of that like that so we have the body the mail and then we have a message box whereby if the file part cannot be fine it will tell you that oh, the, uh, the part cannot be fine instead of throwing an error and then we have that so it will go on to send the email then after sending the email a message if it is successful a message will pop up this way like this now this other line of code is just there in case you have multiple you no know, outlook account you no know, but you will have multiple email you no know, attached to your outlook account you can have this but if you don't have you can just leave this out of your code it doesn't matter 
it doesn't matter and then because i have multiple email attached to my outlook account i've actually specified the one i want to use so this is the email i want to use as far as outlook is going so it's very important if you have multiple email attached to your outlook account or else you can just leave this code this line of code from you no know, you don't have to put it if it is only one email and make sure that your outlook you no know, is con configured for this exercise now once you are done let's go to our let's go to our page slip let's set up our email i'm going to have our email here so we just say email and then we have the email of the employee in cell e8 so let me expand this a bit let me expand this a bit email and then i will match this cell i'll match and center it and have it this way and then this i will just give it a border let me give it as all borders oh i've actually printed but still don't worry i'm going to get rid of it and do something wonderful so let's return the email with vlookup say equals to vlookup and then lookup value this is our lookup value and then comma our table array we go come here and then we pick everything as our array this way comma and then the column index for email we come here the column index is three so we put in three then comma and then we want exact match so press on enter and then you can see that it actually returned the email of this employee so let me start from one then we have it so we have the email there for us and every other stuff like that so let me set the print area here I'm going to set the print area we have done it the other time but let me set it again let me set the print area i think this is good so i'm going to go to layout print set print area that is that but that now that we have returned our email address we can preview and then you see this is how the page slip will actually look like and then we go back to whatever we are doing now we have this we have inputted everything i think that we should input everything that we need to input and then i'll just close the vba editor now make sure that your outlook is open you connect to the internet and then the next thing for us to do is that let's draw a button i'll say come to insert the button here let me have the button somewhere in this place and then i want to connect to this i'll click on ok and then i want to edit the test edit test let me say send pay slip send pay pay slip and then i'll click outside i'll right click again i want to edit the test let me edit the test let me just do a bit of formatting to read then i'll go to home i want to put it here uh, increase the font a bit and then click on save click on bold rather and then i have it so let me insert an icon to indicate icon and then let me search for email email icon and then we have so i'll use this and then i will insert and then let me change to 1.5 and then I have it this way. So I can drag it here. And you can see. So I can hold on the shift key. Oh, you can see it has already sent. It's not supposed to be so. So I want to right click. And then I'll say group. And then I'll group this. Uh, where is group? Yeah, this is group. I'm going to group, group this. And then you can see they are together now. Let me right click this also. Edit test. Let me format this a bit. And I'll say come to home, come to this place, increase it, and then bold it. And then we have it. So let me search for an icon to insert the print. So we have the print. I'll just insert it. Then I will put it to 1.52. 
1.5 okay then i can drag it to this place so i will just right click this and then i will right click again and then i will go to group i want to group these icons and then i can drag it a bit up but let's leave it this way so we have uh these two icons as the case may be i think they are good i think we are set now from here let me go back so that we can start this all over again i'm going to click this i'm going to delete this from the folder now we have this so the first thing that if you want to send the pay slip we come to our employee we prepare our payroll and every other thing don't forget that we only want to test for these four email addresses and then we'll say we really want to test for these four email addresses and then we'll say okay let me show you what i'm trying to say and then we have our folder here and then we have our payroll prepared so once i click print payslip and then we see that payslip in pdf has been generated click on ok and then we see the four employee whose payslip have been generated as we have specified and then another thing we can do now we can i can just say i can close this and then since we have generated the pdf in you no know, exported it we can then click on send payslip i click on send payslip and you see this message that says you no know, you can see it very very wonderful concept uh as you see it i'll click on ok now let's see whether what we have done is actually working i will just go to some of this email and see let me first of all go to my outlook mail and then you see it this is the email this is the no this is the pay slip if i open it you see it so 101 you can see you can see it i can and look at the payslip generated and automatically mailed to our employee as the case may be we can see it is a wonderful concept so i believe that going back to my one of my subscriber and the comment i believe i've been able to answer uh, actually attend to the request of this person if you need this complete code you know what we have done if you need the complete code everything from a to z you can just i'll just drop this you can just put a comment and then i'll reach out to you and then i'll send it to you thank you so much god bless you.